Hey guys, welcome back to Mrs. G's Sewing Space. So in this uh, series of videos that I'm making, this is the second video, and it's the basic zipper bag with the lining, except I have boxed the corners. So I made the corners um, angled and I trimmed them so that it'll stand up by itself. So it won't. It's not a flat bag, but it's a little, little more 3D to it, so you can stand it up by itself. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the last video. Leave comments down below and let me know what you think. And I'll see you at the end. In this bag, what I'm going to do is do boxed corners. And boxed corners are um, where you take the bottom corners and you sew them together so that your bag will be able to stand up. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So right now, I'm going to take this fabric and I'm going to sew on the front sides and then I'm going to sew on the lining. And in the upper, right hand corner I will post a link to the my original zippy bag video so that you can see how to put it all together so right now I'm just gonna to put the front on put the lining on and then we'll come back okay so I sewed on the front to the front of the zipper as well as the lining so if you see here it's kinda like a sandwich the lining and the front are on one side of the zipper and then this lining and this front is on the other side of the zipper. So now what we're going to do as in typical zippy bag fashion, we are going to match up our right sides for our front and the right sides of our back. And we are going to let's straighten that out. We're going to sew here to here, down here, across here all the way down here but we're going to stop and we're going to leave a gap right there so we can turn our stuff inside out so we can turn our zippy bag inside out i'm going to mark a spot like right here to like right there so about three three four fingers um so so all the way around and stop and start at these at these dots you want to leave a hole there that's how you're going to turn it all around and don't forget making a zippy bag you need to make sure you leave your zipper unzipped. So make sure you leave your zipper unzipped like two-thirds of the way down and sew everything together leaving a space right here because you're going to have to turn this side through that hole out that hole to flip it all inside out. So I'm going to go ahead and pin all this together and sew it all up. Okay, now that I've got everything pinned up so that we can sew it, one of the things, there are my black marks, one of the things I want to tell you, when you sew across a zipper, you want to make sure your zipper is facing the lining. So you see the edges, the zippers, the zippy teeth right here are facing in toward the lining. So we want to lay our zipper tape down like that, matching it up. It doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't have to be, we're not going for perfection here, just teaching you how to do this. You can strive for perfection on your own. Okay, so we're going to pin that down so we can make sure we get over that. And for this side, which is a little, little difficult, you're going to have to finagle it yourself. So you want the tape to point towards here, but your teeth to point towards here. Okay, so here you see my zipper teeth the the crunchy part, the stiff hard part, is the coils, they're called coils, are pointing towards the inside of my lining. Where the tape, the coils are what, are, what the coils are attached to, the fabric, are pointing towards the outside of the fabric. So this is how you would sew over it. So as you sew your seam going right across, you're going to go across those coils and keep on going, but you may want to back tack like one or two times on each side. And then by the time you flip it inside out, that should keep the coils in place so they don't pop out and do weird wiggly things. So let's go get that sewn up. Okay, so I have everything zipped up. I took a little bit more off the bottom because when you stuff this back into your bag, you want it to lay flat. So, And because these pattern pieces are cut as the same size as the front, you want to take just a little bit off the bottom so it will fit better. Okay. But now that we have that all sewn up, what we need to do is get our good scissors, or well, not our really good scissors, but good enough scissors. 
and we're going to go ahead and trim the trim the zipper. So this is a plastic coil. I don't use metal zippers in my zippy bags. I use plastic for this reason. Why? Because it's a lot easier to snip through when you need to. So just snip the zipper off at the seam allowance. Don't go any further than that. There you go. And here at the corners, well, you know what? We're going to do boxed corners, so it doesn't really matter. So, boxed corners. What you do, you see, you have a stitch line here and you have a stitch line here. What you want to do, you're going to pop, pop it open. If you have seen my how to make a tote bag video, we're doing the same thing here as we're doing in the tote bag video. So, we're taking the seam, seam lines, this, the lines where we stitched here and on the other side, and we're going to line them up. And it's kind of easy to do that when you have your seam allowance lying this way and this other seam allowance lying that way. And we're going to pull it out of the corner, line them up, and that's going to give us a corner. Or a triangle. It's going to give us a triangle right there. And with that triangle, we're just going to pin it. Like right there. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing for all four corners of our bag. So we're going to line them up here on this corner, this corner, and that corner. So let's go ahead and do that. I changed my mind. I'm doing an inch and a half instead because I do want a wider base so that it can stand up. All right, so we're doing an inch and a half instead. So, so we're lining up our corner and our half inch mark over here. Trying to get it as straight as we possibly can. See, half inch mark, so we're just gonna mark right there. And this is a dry erase marker or a water soluble marker or, wa or it's an air slash water soluble marker. So you can spray water on it and the marks will disappear, like disappearing ink. Or if you just leave it alone, the air will dry it out and as it dries it'll disappear as well. So let's see, an inch and a half. There you go. Okay, so now I've taken all four corners of my bag and I measured out an inch and a half across the bottom and then I'm going to go sew. So those lines that I marked right there, those lines right there become my seam line. So I'm going to go stitch a straight stitch right there and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I got all my corners stitched and now I'm going to trim. I'm going to trim on the outside of that stitching line, so about a quarter of an inch and I'm going to snip them all off. But be careful you don't catch any other part of your bag in that snip. I've done that before. Okay, last one. Now, for this particular bag, if you saw my other bag, the, simpl the simplest bag in the world, um, you saw that I zigzagged the outside edges. This That was because it does not have a liner. But this has a liner, so all your all your seam allowances, everything that frays is going to be tucked to the inside in between that liner and the outside fabric, and it won't come undone. So now, we have our hole right there. We're going to stretch all the way through, reach all the way through, grab the bottom, and push it through. Now remember, you left your zipper open too. If you didn't leave your zipper open, you're, you're stuck. You might have to pick out a seam to go get it. Okay. So let's go ahead and unzip a little more here. So we have more a little more room to whoop, there we go. Okay. Pop out those corners. See how those corners are boxed right there? Let's go boxed corners. So there's the bottom. Here's the bottom here. And here. So now you have your opening here, you can do one of two things. You can hand stitch it closed 
or you can machine, machine stitch it. And I'm going to machine stitch it. So I'm just going to do a little, um, I'm going to do a straight stitch right across, closing, catching both sides. And I will be right back. Okay, there we go. So I have my bottom sewed up. This little stitch right there. I'm going to tuck it to the inside. Match everything up. Push it all in. Push my corners out as best I can here. And that corner as well. Sometimes it gets pushed so far back that you got to finagle it. It's not like you've done it wrong. You just got to get it all right. There we go. And there you go. And your bag is all done. It's a little wrinkly. You got to go iron it now. But see, now you have a bag that will actually stand up on its own. And you can do this in any size, but the down, the only thing is, doing it this way, you're going to have a seam on the bottom. So if you don't bother, if you don't mind that, you can do it however you want to do it. So see, there you go. So you can open it and close it. Get that zipper. Ooh, man. That one's a little bit rough, huh? I'm going to go iron it, and I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. All done. I gave it a quick iron. So now you can put things in it and it'll stand up if you need to. If you need your bag to stand up, it'll stand up all by itself. Hey guys, I am so glad that you guys hung around for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. In this video we made the boxed corner bag here. So it's our little stand up bag. I love making these videos and I hope that you guys enjoyed watching these videos. I hope my instructions were clear. I would love it if you guys gave me a thumbs up, a subscribe to my channel, share this information with your friends, and leave any comments below with questions so I can answer them. And if you guys need anything, anything else explained, or if you have ideas, just put them in the comments below and I'll follow up with you and we'll see what we can do about getting you guys more information. In the meantime, I'll see you in the next video and always give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Thanks.